Hi everyone, I'm Fush Hamad Sharaf with you. Uh, today uh, our subject uh, is about uh, um, uh, the solar desalination system. Um, first of all, you have to specify your destination fol folder. Open your MATLAB first, okay, and go to your destination folder from this space. You'll find it uh, in every MATLAB version. This is your uh, drive folder, working folder. Don't open your model from desktop. Okay, then uh, when, when you open your or go to your destination folder, okay, uh, this is my destination folder, solar desalination flashing for a multi fig distillation. Okay, you will find your files, your folders, files. Don't, don't delete any uh, figure or file from here. Click here and uh, sort by name and uh, group by type. So you will find your model is uh, well organized and uh, ready to be used. Uh, double clicking. Okay, this is our main model. It's, uh, uh, it is not a new uh, technique of uh, modeling. Actually, it's, it's um, a design model for uh, multi-effect distillation. Um, with end condenser, barrel feed configuration, most efficient one. We have four configurations. This is most efficient, and uh, we are going to uh, drive thermal power for such field by the use of uh, uh, so parabolic solar field, uh, water steam inside uh, the loop, attached to a flash evaporation tank or flash cyclone tank. So, uh, there is no steam to be generated from the solar field. This is liquid loops. So, hot water is going to be flashed in, in a flash evaporation tank in order to generate steam. And this steam is responsible for uh, uh, driving thermal uh, power for first effect. And the generating steam from the first effect will continue the process uh, as usual. Um, we have, as you, as you can see here, we have, uh, this is a design model. So we have parabolic trough water, flash evaporation tank, a multi effect distillation and bombing unit and cost block for uh, cost analysis. Uh, first of all, set your simulation time into zero, double clicking, okay, on the mother block and we can assign some input, suppose we need uh, five hundred uh, meter cube per day and uh, ambient temperature normally 25 solar radiation we can use solar radiation model uh, if we would like we can attach signal builder we can do anything uh, for solar radiation uh, as you can see here uh, i will uh, fix it at uh, 500 fix it at 500 watt per meter square and uh, top uh, top uh, um, steam temperature, not top steam, top water, hot water temperature from the solar field. Uh, going up, uh, these values will consume uh, uh, or can uh, uh, cause severe stresses on uh, parabolic trough uh, tubes. Therefore, I do recommend 100, 150 degrees Celsius, no more than this. So let's go for 160 degrees Celsius, okay, as a hot water. Okay, let's uh, hit OK and go inside. We can assign some inputs for MED. Let's go for sea uh, uh, water temperature, 20 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Um, 20 degrees Celsius. We have here um, brain blow down temperature, uh, 40 degrees Celsius, and uh, salinity, seawater salinity, uh, 30, 35,000 ppm. Uh, so we have to co to convert it into kilogram per kilogram as a ratio. And brain blow down. Um, let's go for 56. And this I will keep these values condenser in the condenser some parameters number of uh, number of, um, of effects normally for from one up to eight or one up to six one to four is fine okay I will keep this uh, for performance these are our 
in the condenser effectiveness, uh, bumps um, efficiencies, okay, and it's okay. For flash evaporation tank, uh, this is uh, very important. Um, don't forget that we uh, assigned our two, uh, hot water uh, temperature 160 degrees Celsius. Therefore, um, top steam temperature suitable for first effect normally 65 or 70. And this is uh, a steam velocity will keep this value. Uh, for bumping, we are keeping our efficiency at 75. Uh, parabolic trough collector, I will keep this uh, uh, design values as it was. Okay, hit run, saving your model, hit run, and let's go and see our results. Okay, let's hit run. Okay, we, we finished. Okay, let's go inside and try to survey our results. Um, as you can see here, based on our uh, configuration, this is our pressure, six bars pressure, outlet in Sarbi, it's a liquid in Sarbi, total field area is around 5,000 uh, square meters, uh, total lens, number, loops, number of loops, okay, and uh, number of solar collector, pressure losses through the field, efficiency, some ex exergetic results. So this is uh, outlet uh, streams going from parabolic trough. We need to uh, send some uh, parameters such as pressure losses and ambient temperature and outlet collector uh, to the uh, from parabolic trough to the flash uh, flash tank. Okay, and we have here, as you can see here, uh, this is from uh, uh, bombing. This is from bomb. I'm sorry. This is from bomb stream going to parabolic trough uh, collector stream. This is the stream coming from the bomb. We need uh, a mass flow rate, temperature, and so If you go outside, you realize this one. This is this is a stream coming from the bomb, and this is a stream uh, going uh, to the flash tank. And we have a stream going uh, from the flash tank to the MED. Okay. Uh, let's go for uh, flash tank, trying to uh, 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 survey some results. Uh, based on uh, input parameters coming from the parabolic trough, okay, we have here uh, outlet uh, collector temperature, T collector out means outlet uh, solar collector temperature, okay. Outlet collector temperature is around 160. Will bring us uh, the top pressure from the solar field. We will consider this pressure high, and this pressure uh, will uh, give us the value of uh, 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 liquid in Salby. This is your liquid in Salby. Okay, and top steam temperature for MED will bring us pressure, uh, uh, steam condensate pressure. Okay, and we need to discover uh, gas in Salby or vapor in salby, I'm sorry, vapor in salby and liquid in salby add this, uh, this, the condensation uh, pressure and temperature and we can recognize some uh, temperature and density or some uh, specific values. Let's go for, uh, this is your flash cyclone tank, so based on these thermophysical properties, so we can recognize, uh, we can use it as an input for flash tank we need uh, 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 an, um, an salby liquid in salby and I'm sorry I have to uh, uh, change this one I have to update this one to liquid in salby HF okay hit apply and okay let's hit run again saving okay and hit run We, uh, we have to wait for why okay so we have here uh, this is most important parameter dryness fraction your dryness fraction uh, representing uh, 
the the steam uh, quantity over the total quantity of uh, mass flow rate. We have here. This is your mass flow rate. This is your uh, 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 water contamination below the tank total flow rate. And this is your drainage fraction and your some design outputs for the tank. Tank height, tubes area, diameter, and something like that. For MED, we can discover many, many parameters. What is your uh, total mass flow rate, cooling flow rate, this uh, total mass flow rate, uh, feed to going to the effects, feed temperature, uh, uh, end condenser area. As you can see here, this is your end condenser, bumps, exergetic and thermoeconomic uh, analysis, and this is your effect by effect. Uh, this is your distal profile, brine profile, senator profile, and um, uh, some uh, thermophysical properties, temperature profile, uh, vapor temperature profile, gear ratio, uh, below than uh, 4 because we are using 4 effects. This is the first effect, second effect, and, there, and this is the last one. Uh, area profile, okay, and tube lens uh, uh, per each effect. This is bumping power okay uh, seven kilowatts and cost considerations what is your specific bulk consumption uh, hourly cost for med solar collector hourly costs uh, evaporators hourly cost and total blend total water price and feed cost okay let's go for dynamic mode if you would like to realize the change on or the effect of each parameters on the others Set your simulation time into infinity, I and F. Okay, hit saving. And let's go and try to uh, realize a change of some operating conditions on uh, the parameters such as uh, drainage fraction. I will double clicking here, going inside and double clicking here. Okay, and double clicking here. So we have here, let's go inside the flash cycle. Okay, we have to realize drainage fraction this value is very important so i have to uh, open these uh, parameters and trying to change and realize the change in, uh, on it okay okay let's uh, try to shrinking it a little bit okay okay uh, creating an office spaces okay now we can uh, making some changes okay okay uh, okay let's hit run and see our results okay Okay, now we are running in time. So suppose I need to uh, increase a steam uh, top water temperature. Okay, as you can see, uh, increasing temperature uh, will increase the dryness fraction. Okay, so increasing the dryness fraction is always good. And let's go for uh, let's hit uh, closing for uh, steam temperature. Let's. Uh, steam temperature less decreasing steam temperature decreasing steam temperature um, for the first effect down to uh, these minimum values it actually it is uh, most suitable for MED okay and let's go for um, uh, suppose I need to blow down temperature decreasing it a little bit for 35 okay quite normal okay and hit the stop so we made uh, some changes let's go here and uh, let's inspect our results before inspecting uh, uh, i forget to warn you that you have to uh, clicking on your stream to, uh, and try to discover your uh, or send it to data inspector by clicking here or from here okay uh, there are some ways to uh, explore your data. You, you can go here, you will find your results. This is your brine uh, profile. You can plot it. This is brine profile per effect. 
and you can this is distal profile okay as you can see here decreasing in distal profile let's go for data inspector and see some changes okay let's go here and okay this is our run so we can compare our runs this is specific about consumption variation uh, hourly cost for med uh, collector hourly costs okay uh, bomb hourly costs and we can we have here total plant costs med area variation uh, steam flow rate variation uh, performance uh, ratio should be uh, constant and we have collector solar field area no wide change dryness fraction this is your dryness fraction trying to um, this is the conclusion of your cycle because you um, you control some uh, temperature or operating conditions which has uh, which have uh, uh, overwhelming effect on uh, dryness fraction uh, flash tank uh, water uh, flash tank height flash tank width okay total mass flow rate okay and uh, pressure and so on so we have many results you can discover and you can uh, deal with uh, finally I would like to uh, thank you very much for your uh, interesting in our model uh, don't forget to uh, like share uh, and subscribe uh, thank you very much